You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys. The niche drugs. The everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred common hipster affliction. Well, it'll be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. 